Hello YouTube, I am back, finally. I might go away again, pretty soon, but since it's been a really long time, I'm going to show you my hamsters. They have, uh, they have really grown up really well, but they are not babies anymore. They are teenagers. I will show you to them right now. They all have names. I will introduce you to them all. And I'll show you my little process I do every, 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 day, every day. Here. This, okay, so this one's a female. This one just has a, uh, well, the easiest way to, uh, show you is looking at both patterns of both these hamsters. Uh, so you can see there's no stripe right here. So, so, so this one is Bella. Say hello, Bella. Yeah, the big teeth. <laughs> And here we have, and here we have Zoe. You see a difference between those two. He told them apart. This one, he, she actually has a little bit of. How does she have? A, has a streak right here, next to the same coat body pattern. So that's how you tell Zoe apart. Hey, Zai, I say hi, Zoe. And you already know Oscar and Milo, right? They haven't changed at all now. <laughs> Right here, trying to get out. This is Puffy Fluffy, or should I call him Panda Bear? The fluffiest one, the smallest one, the lightest one. He's super cute. And super fluffy. Fluffy, fluffy, fluffy teddy bear. You see here? That looks kind of almost like a yin yang. He's fluffy, he's black and white. His name is Panda. Pencil in China, yin yangs, yin yin, you get the idea. He's one of my only male, two male hamsters. I think you can assume Zoe's a girl. That's obviously a girl name. And here's. Let's see here. Who is this one? You'd think it's hard to tell them apart because they're all the same color, but it really isn't. See here, that's kind of like a C. They don't know the ones that start with the ones that start with C. They all have a C on them. This is a C right here. This is Chloe. In here, you already know her, obviously. You should by now. This is Cupcake, still the mother. She hasn't changed at all. Which tries to climb out. She's so cute. And in here, you are, I know everyone loves Cookie, the master of escape. Though he's pretty much outwitted by the tape in the cage and stuff now. Probably aggressive towards Panda Bear. Never get them too close. Nope. See, she always tries to escape. She's so cute. <laughs> she's the only one with this color, so she's really easy to recognize. She has a chance to see on hers, too. Oh, yeah, there's one more hamster, too. And here, out in the middle of nowhere, this is the last one. Her name is Cleo, and she also has a C on her, too. I'll show you how to tell her apart. <laughs> There's a C right here, like that. It's pretty easy. She just has several dots and kind of forces a C like that. So, yeah, my C ones have a start with a C. You see those big teeth. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why, why do why not only slice on the wheels and have wheels? Well, it's just pretty simple. I always rotate them every single night. So simply, these two in here, they're going to go in the boring cages, and the ones in the boring cage are going to go in here. And the ones in the boring, and these two, since they're going to go in the boring cage, they're going to go in, and they're going to run in a ball tonight. And as you know, I mean, since they're adults, they can't fit in the baby balls anymore. So now I bought... A, um, let's see if I can find it. Actually, but it is a pink, it is a pink wild harvest ball. Not the most resourceful, though. Still that one. Technically, you can guess the pink one's the girl ball, the blue one's the boy ball, so just for the fun of it, I just gotta put boys in that one and girls in that one. So, yeah, 
this one, just too many safe hamsters. This one's isn't anymore much. I mean, I might someday, but it's my last story hamsters. Now, as you can as you notice, I just switched from pine bedding to paper bedding. Very secret. Uh, actually, I really don't want to say this. I love my hamsters very much, but I've actually had, once had a maggot problem where I had to just keep moving them from cage to cage because I kept having maggots. I, I don't want to explain it. I'm still... I'm still very affectionate, still love my hamsters, I wouldn't want them to get sick. We took them pair, if we solved that problem by simply saying instead of paper bedding because the bowls are getting wet and blah blah blah. So, we, sp we just killed all the flies, sprayed down here, poisoned all of them, they're all dead. And we switched to paper bedding, which they didn't like as much, so that's kind of helping to, that's kind of helping to keep the cages much more clean. You can keep the water cleaner, it's just all evaporated and stuff. I gotta give her more. But yeah. Come here. <laughs> See, she's still... She still hasn't changed a bit. <laughs> so you see, since she's gone, she's, she's been in the bowling cage. Now, she... Is going in this cage. And she... Before she kills her... <laughs> is gonna go in this cage. So they all take turns being the boring cages and the cage with wheels. For Christmas, I'm gonna ask mom to buy wheels for every single one of them because I'm gonna go on a Christmas vacation they all need wheels. So, and she, let's grab her. <sighs> she is gonna go She's already having fun already. She mm. is gonna go in this very poor quality ball. The female ball. Pink ball. Because we don't want her to stay up all their all their night, I mean just be bored, so she's gonna be in the ball. That's part of my usual routine. I want some more balls too, but it's either wheels or balls, doesn't really matter, I don't think. As long as they're able to do something fun. And actually, I do have to tape this a little, because it does um, actually break pretty easily, but it's not much of a worry, because I usually only love them for like two hours or something. I'm going to put tape on there, it's scotch tape, it works just fine, take them, keep them together. And uh, just to prevent from passing sperms or anything, I keep all the females... You know, on this only set of cages, and the males just stay in two cages of the round. Like, I mean, like, yeah, just, there's two, only two male cages, there's only two hamsters that are males. So you see him, he's a puffy, fluffy panda bear. He is going to go in this cage, and Cookie is going to go in the ball, because he's going to be in the other, in the, in the male one cage. He's going to be in the, yes, because he's already making that noise. It's very aggressive. I can't know you heard it or not. Tick, 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 tick. <clears throat> Just put him there for a second. Or he. Yeah, I'll get him in a second. He's gonna be in here. See, as if he has a wheel for the night. <laughs> I think you're going, little man. <laughs> See, I had a camera. I had a camera. See, since he's gonna be in that boring cage. They really hate, I know that they're thinking, they're thinking, yes, they do hate their smell, they, they will be aggressive once they smell their scent in the two cages, but get through that or just have them be in a boring ball all the time. So, uh, open. So he is going in here. And he's going to be in there for a little while. So he will be able to have fun and then be in the boring cage. Just make, it seems pretty fair to me. Fair thing we have enough cages, enough wheels, but that's just not the case. So, <clears throat> and of course, obviously, I get in fresh water all the time every evening. If they're awake, ready to drink, and whether they're ready to eat too, I feed them with that. Use this with a uh, one fourth cup. Feed them all kind of stuff. Have to buy food very constantly. Just bought treats today. Say hi. 
Don't worry, the lid isn't all the way on. They still have, there's just a gap, so they, that's not, they don't need to suffocate. No, don't worry about that. It's not all the way on. <laughs> Oscar, Milo. It is still there. And. Let's see, yeah, yeah. Like that. And, uh. Yeah. And as you did notice, I do use comfort wheels. Yes, I do now. Gerbils do not get bumblefoot, so I'm not really concerned about the gerbils, and they don't get their tails like either, so. I'm not as concerned about them as I am with the hamsters. We are but doing just fine. They're just re th these wheels are just really noisy. I consider getting welded wheels, but don't really care. As long as it doesn't hurt the feet. You can see, they try to get out all the time. They can't reach it. And. Just too high. They always keep climbing like that. Just think they can, they can climb on there. Once in the cages, they bite the bars all the time. Whoa. Let's check over you. So, yeah. That's my uh, daily routine. And actually, most of them I've, um, I have learned. I have, they have been taught to, to uh, use water bottles. So, that's been taken care of. <laughs> Don't know if you even saw it yet. See? Never see. Wait, no, that no, that's the C, sorry. C. I don't know, just can't test, never mind. So, yep, that's them. And as I think you might have not already known before, have lost a male hamster and some other hamster in the baby hamster's coffin video of, that I placed it a million years ago. So, <laughs> yes, but I haven't lost any hamster since then, so that's pretty good. They've escaped a couple of times, but I'm kind of, um, these bins are pretty, are really paying off. They're high, they, they can't climb on them, and. They, um, it's much easier to clean than cages. They don't have to put you don't have to put them through anything. The cage is just a pain in the butt. So yeah, that is my present day rodent care. Present day hamsters. They're they're adults now, so they kill each other. They wanted to, and they're not babies anymore. So he's trying to escape. But he can't find a way. He's so cute. And actually, what surprised me, what I learned about hamsters, is the males are a lot lighter and a lot smaller than the females are. Cupcake's the biggest one. She's the big bully. <laughs> You're a cutie. But you are so light. Stop licking my finger. <sighs> so, yeah. Yep. That's what's happened. This is part of this will be my last. I think this is my last video on playlist. They're all grown up. As I see each other through the balls, you can see male and female. <laughs> Let's play like a mating game or something. So yeah. Now one last thing. Yes, I do understand that that wheel is a little small. When I said I want some monster wheels for Christmas, I did say I want to replace that one for sure, because they don't fit on it anymore. <laughs> I just put it there anyway, because I still want I still don't want to. I mean, just don't, don't think of it as much. Let's put it there anyway, because think about it, I had a mesh wheel too, I wouldn't use that, obviously. They'd, break, they'd really break their backs on that. So, yep. A purple cage, really mild use of either, breaks apart, dirty, maggoty, so, no. So, yep, that is it. That, those are my rodents. Now, <laughs> so, yep, they get rotated, fed, watered every single night. They all have a chance to go on the wheel. Love their wheel. Yep. Adios.